Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mr. Moser's Meandering Monday. This is part two of the Virginia Creeper Trail. If you remember last week, we focused on the Virginia Creeper Trail starting at the top of the mountain at White Top, riding down into Damascus. Today is the other half of the trail that goes from Abington, Virginia, back to Damascus. It is not used as much because it's more level. That means you actually got to pedal for a lot of this trail, but it's probably my favorite part of this trail because you get to see bridges like this, which back in the day, the actual train went over these trestles and now you get to ride over them on your bikes. This one was actually taken out by a tornado back in 2011. A uh, tornado came through and just knocked this entire bridge over. And so the community had to come together and raise the funds and build this bridge back so that this trail could continue. We're gonna give you some footage of the trail as we go. You'll get to see some pretty neat things and maybe you'll even learn a little something. To get to the Virginia Creeper bike trail from the Clover School District office, it takes about three hours to get there and you'll drive about 131 miles. That gets you to Damascus, but we got to start in Abington, which is another 20 minutes or 14 miles away. The Virginia Creeper Trail is a 34 mile rail trail that is considered one of the best bike trails in the nation. In case you didn't see last week's video, the Virginia Creeper Trail used to be a railroad line. The Abington branch of the Norfolk and Western Railway was nicknamed the Virginia Creeper, likely for the train's slow speed through this mountainous region or for the vines that grew along the tracks. The Virginia Creeper Railroad line began in Abington, Virginia, continued into Damascus, Virginia, and from there went to White Top then continued into Todd, North Carolina, although now the bike trail stops at the North Carolina border. Today's adventure is on the western side of the trail. For today's bike ride, I'm going to start in Abington, Virginia and ride the trail to Damascus, Virginia, which is also where we ended the ride last week. Not as many people use this trail because it starts in Abington and goes downhill but as you can see there's an uphill going to Damascus. In last week's ride you barely had to do any pedaling because it was all downhill but today's ride be prepared to do some work. Because you're starting in Damascus all of the bike rental places are still available to you. You can ride the shuttle up to Abington, ride the bike down the trail, and end up right back in Damascus where you started. The trail begins in Abington, Virginia, and when you start off, you get to see one of the engines that used to run on this rail line. This is the Norfolk and Western 433 that ran up and down the tracks pulling freight. It was retired in 1958 and now sits at the beginning of the Abington Virginia Creeper Trail. As you pass the locomotive, you come to the beginning of the trail. It's very well landscaped and you'll see here is bridge number one of the 47 different ones you can cross throughout the Virginia Creeper Trail. If you look closely at the start of the trail is this ancient white oak, which used to be throughout the region. It is hard to see in this picture, but the base is 19 feet around. This tree is huge. And trees like this used to be everywhere until logging companies came in for the timber. As you're going through town on the trail, you'll pass a golf course and you'll see all sorts of walkers 
and runners and people on their bikes. However, the further you go down the trail, you will see less and less people. And basically have the Virginia Creeper Trail all to yourself. Just a little further down the trail is a park. You can see it there on the left side of the screen. Just beyond the park, if you look closely, you can see some animals. As I mentioned at the start of this video, of the two sections of the Virginia Creeper Trail, this part is probably my favorite. Part of it is because there's not a lot of people, so you have the trail to yourself. The other reason is because of all these long wooden trestle bridges. Check out the view from up here. At any point during your ride, you'll see houses. And if you ever feel like you need to stop, you can stop and just enjoy the outdoors. Listen to how quiet it is out here. Remember that bridge I told you about that got knocked down by a tornado? Well, it's been rebuilt. And here's what it's like to ride your bike over it. were built to help the train get over valleys, over rivers, and over lakes. And now, with you and your bike, you get to enjoy these bridges yourself. If you keep a watchful eye, you can spot all sorts of things like fishermen and wildlife. Here's some cows. Because this section of the trail does go through some private lands, every so often you need to stop and go through a gate. The gates are there to keep the cows in the right places. You know you've gotten to the halfway point on the trail when you reach this old train station called Alvarado Station. There's not much here except for some bathrooms and some picnic areas right along the river. It's a good place to take a rest, maybe eat some lunch, and refuel for the rest of the ride. It also might be helpful to know that from this point forward, you're gonna be riding slightly uphill. So make sure you get all your energy back and be ready to do some pedaling. Along the route, I even spotted some pet llamas playing in their yard. I even came across a long black snake, probably five feet long. I just stopped and waited for him to cross the trail. I wanted to share with you this section where instead of having the train go over the hill, they decided to just dig through the hill. You'll know you're back in Damascus at the end of this part of the trail when again you spot that red caboose. 
I hope you enjoyed today's visit to the Abington to Damascus section of the Virginia Creeper Trail. I really hope you get to experience this sometime. It is a great adventure, especially if you like the outdoors and like riding bikes. Have a great day.